Hello everyone. I'll start by wishing you a happy new year. Though I feel a bit insincere, to be honest, in light of what I'm about to tell you. It's been announced this morning at church that I'm going to be moving on as Vicar of Emmanuel and St Christopher's. My final service with you will be Sunday the 10th of April, after which I'm becoming Vicar of Bolton Le Sands, which is just north of Morecambe, between Morecambe and Carnforth. I know that this might come as a bit of a shock to some of you, and I know that some may feel upset. I'll be honest and say that I feel sad as well. I have loved being part of Emmanuel Church, and I have loved being your vicar. I'm not unhappy in the job that I'm in. The reason that we're moving is to do with geography. My wife, Louisa, uh, works up near Carnforth. She has done all the time that we've been here and she travels up and down that motorway, typically three times a week, sometimes chucking the kids in the car with her. And that's been difficult. It's, it's been demanding. We managed it uh, for most of the time that I've been here. Uh, but when Meredith was born two years ago, it became unsustainable for us. And so when I saw that there was a job coming up in the northern part of the diocese uh, near to Louisa's work and her family as well, I had to look at it. And I saw the advertisement for the new vicar at Bolton Le Sands and it was like it had my name on it, so I had to apply. I have had a great time with Emmanuel Church. It really is an incredible church community. So warm, so kind, so loving. I'll also remember the laughter and the fun and all the church socials. I think spirited is the word I would use to describe Emmanuel Church. Very spirited. And you know, I feel so proud. I feel so proud of what this church has done. In the seven and a half years that I've been here, it would have been so easy to pack up shop, but you've kept going. You've made something special in that community centre next to the closed church. You've shown perseverance, determination and faith, and it's been incredible. And now this church has a brilliant vision for the future that I think has real legs. I'll admit, Leaving you when you've got a huge fundraiser to do is not ideal. And I don't feel good about that. I'm sorry that I'm leaving you to find one and a half million pounds. I have got three months with you between now and April. And one of the things that I want to do is create a firm plan with members of the PCC as to where that money is going to come from and how the funds are going to be raised. We've come so far with this church building that... We're not giving up now. So I want to work with you while I'm still here and leave this church in the best possible shape when I do leave in April. After that, you'll have a vacancy. I've spoken with Anne Berry and she does plan to continue as church warden for a while longer. She's done five years already and I know that Anne will be a brilliant leader through the vacancy and she'll be ably supported by Merlene. And I would say to Emmanuel, continue being a strong team as you already are. Continue being such a, a, a wonderful community, full of faith, full of hope, full of love. And you'll endure this vacancy. You'll get beyond it. You'll appoint someone else um, who can lead Emmanuel into the next chapter. Something that I am very grateful for is that this church has been very generous in terms of the financial giving, and that's enabled my job to exist. Uh, without it, um, Emmanuel might not be considered credible or, or, or viable by the diocese, but the diocese should look at this church and really they should say, wow. They should say what commitment this church has shown, not just financially, but what commitment to mission and ministry in, in the Plungington area. And they should have no hesitation in working with you to appoint a new vicar. That process can take a year, as you may know. Sometimes it takes even longer. 
it really boils down to um, having a strong team at Emmanuel who will work on the profile for the new vicar and work with the diocese to get it advertised. And I hope and pray that you'll get somebody decent to, to follow and, and take things forward. I'm going to be saying to the diocese, just stop and think about what could be done through the parish of Emmanuel. Really, it could be a beacon of urban mission and ministry. It could, to my mind, become a centre of training in, in urban mission when you consider the potential of this church, uh, where it's located, as well as the potential um, of the building project and, and where that will lead Emmanuel to. So I'm going to be saying to the diocese, come on, this is a horse that you can back um, that, is, that is going somewhere. And all I would say to you is keep going, keep doing what you're doing, work together, stay strong, do keep up the, the generous giving as well. And I see a bright future for this church. And I know some of you may be struggling to feel that at the moment. I know this is hard news um, when your vicar is leaving, but we trust God, don't we? God, move things on, sometimes in ways that we might struggle to understand or accept. Certainly, I struggled to make this decision, if I'm honest. I found it hard, but I know it's the right thing. And I know that God is faithful in all that God does. And I'm thankful to God for the, the wonderful times that we've had. It's been a ball. It's been a blast. I'll have memories from my time at Emmanuel Church that I will never forget. And it's been my privilege and it's been my joy to be your vicar. So let's enjoy. Let's enjoy the time that we have left uh, between now and April. And let's look to the future with courage and hope, which I know you will. Bye.